Here we are, wrestling fans. Welcome to CCW's anniversary number 19 from the Port St. Lucie Mid Florida Event Center. And here comes ERA. This is a grudge match to end all grudge matches. Ernest R. Alexander will square off with his former tag team partner, Johnny Nova. No disqualification, anything goes. And of course, this stem from their match at Game of War just a few months ago here in Port St. Lucie. And this one will be a barn burner. There's no doubt about that. ERA looks in excellent condition as always. Still has that shoulder protection. And here comes Johnny. Wait, Johnny Nova from behind on ERA. Nova not even waiting for his introduction. Going right to work on him with right hands. Uh, what's he doing there? Nova has that tape wrapped around the throat of ERA. Referee unable to do anything, of course. This is a no disqualification contest. I like to see this match get back in the ring. But it appears, oh, into that corner post. It appears they will be taking place on the outside. Wait a minute, where are you going? At least. Wait a minute, Johnny Nova grabbing the. I'll do my own introduction. Oh, give me a break. Of Port St. Lucie, Florida, making my way to the ring from Delaware County, Pennsylvania. Always over, Johnny Nova. There you go. Right hand by ERA. Nova taking the time to introduce himself, giving ERA an opportunity to recover. Now ERA with right hands. And wait a minute, Johnny Nova now beyond, beyond the barricade, into the crowd here, a standing room only crowd in Port St. Lucie. Into the door, ERA now all over Johnny Nova. Turnabout is fair play, no disqualification. The fans looking on here. We need to get security over there. Make sure nobody gets hurt. Somebody just handed something to ERA. ERA just nailed Nova. Was I, I don't know if that was some kind of container. Or what was in it? Nova now. In trouble. ERA all over him. Slams his head into that metal table. ERA now with Johnny Nova up against the wall here. Having words with Johnny Nova. Nova retreating now back towards the ring. Hopefully they get this thing back inside the barricades at the very least. In the ring at the very best. Nova. Lying on his back as ERA just pounds away. First with a stomp to the midsection. Followed up by a bunch of right hands. Nova now. Back inside the guardrails. ERA leaping over the guardrails himself. And thankfully, none of our fans were injured in that onslaught on the outside of the ring. Oh, look out. Nova grabbing the front of the tights of ERA and slamming them right into those steel steps. And that shot right to the shoulder, the injured shoulder of ERA. Finally, Nova has his ring jacket off. Literally has his arm trapped in between the ring and those stairs. And that's going to do a lot of damage to that already injured arm and shoulder area of ERA. Of course, this match can end fall by pinfall or submission. So Nova will be well served to get ERA back in the ring, or at least he has an opportunity to pin him. As you see, Johnny Nova standing over ERA with both hands raised. Finally now, ERA back in the ring with a little help from Nova. Our referee in there now. And finally, now sounding for the bell. ERA with a shot, not much behind it, having very little effect. And 
again, Nova going to work on that right shoulder, that injured arm and shoulder of ERA. Has it wrapped around the rope, yanking for all he's worth. He could very well get a submission out of that. ERA, not the kind of guy that's going to quit. Not ever, but he's got to play it smart, too. You don't want a permanent injury that puts you out of wrestling for good or puts you on the shelf for a long period of time, too. ERA able to power out. ERA now with a left hand to the midsection. That one having a little bit of effect. And that right hand, I think, did more damage to ERA than it did to Johnny Nova. ERA trying to create a little bit of separation, giving Nova a shove, but Nova right back on him. And again, choking, I believe, with that tape, that wrist tape. ERA in serious trouble here, and the referee can only look on and ask ERA if he wants to give up. Again, this is a no disqualification contest. There is no count out. The only way to win is by pinfall or submission. And again, you see Nova standing over ERA, and he paid for it that time as ERA got that leg up with a low blow. And all of it legal. And left hand again by ERA. Once more. And now a right. But you see him again clutching that arm, and Nova... A straight boot right to that shoulder again. ERA writhing in pain. And into that second turnbuckle again with the shoulder. Johnny Nova, give credit where credit is due. He has a definite strategy in this match. He's been relentless, and it's a smart strategy. Does not look good for ERA right now. Johnny Nova well prepared for this bout. And looking to inflict as much punishment and pain as he can on his former partner. Goes for the cover. One. Got a two count. Nova now. Giving ERA some breathing room, and I'm not sure why. He's been a great... Oh, here he is again. With that. I'm not sure that doesn't look like Tate. I think he's got some kind of cord there. I can't really quite tell from my vantage point what that is. ERA now back to his feet. Blocks the right hand and Nova delivers one of his own. And again, that one with a left-handed chop. And again, blocking that. Here comes ERA now. Four or five successive blows. Sends, ER, sends Nova in for the ride. Double axe handle to the chest. Puts Nova on his back. And again, the adrenaline flowing now. Taking away some of that pain possibly. ERA. Charging in, big splash in the corner. Does he have enough to put Johnny Nova away now while he's got him on the ropes? ERA mounting on the second rope, looking for some leverage, going to work with left hands. As the crowd counts along, gets up to a 10 count of left hands to the top of the head of Johnny Nova. ERA now with some momentum and a big clothesline. And again, use that right arm. That's a huge mistake in my estimation. Do whatever you can to protect that arm. Not, Don't use it for offense unless you can help it. Goes for the cover. One, two. Nova able to get that shoulder up. What a tremendous, tremendous matchup we're seeing so far here. It's been a lot of brutality. Johnny Nova, ERA, former tag team partners. No disqualification matchup at our anniversary event here in Port St. Lucie. ERA now fired up. He'd be better served to hit Johnny Nova rather than the mat. Nova now back to his feet, out of the way of that clothesline. Uh-oh, look out. Shoulder breaker. Again, very smart move by Johnny Nova. Goes for the cover. One, two. ERA showing guts and intestinal fortitude. Able to get that shoulder up once again. Oh, he's got a cross arm breaker. If he can get it, if he can get it all the way extended. ERA grasping his fingers. 
He rolls him up, one, two. Nova able to get out of it. Nova now with that right arm once again. ERA, Uranagi. But again, that shoulder giving him lots and lots of problems. Unable to capitalize, unable to make the cover. Nova lying prone in the center of the ring, and ERA writhing in pain once again. He's inching his way over there. Makes the cover, one, two. Nova able to power out. Goes for the cover once more, two count. And Nova powers out once again. ERA now back to his feet. He desperately needs to follow up. His offense has been good when it's in effect, but he's given too much breathing room to Johnny Nova. And again, a right hand. Nova retreating to the corner. Now ERA going to work with boots to the midsection in the chest area. Now stopping away. I don't understand why ERA is not pulling Nova into the center of the ring, going for the cover. He's giving him way too much opportunity to recover. Finally now, ERA dragging Nova back to his feet. Sets him up on that top turnbuckle. Nova though, blocking that right hand and kicking the shoulder. Nova now, standing on the second rope. ERA out of the way, Nova leapfrogging him, but he landed hard on that left leg, appears to have buckled his knee. Now the referee's stopping him, and I don't understand this. The referee should not be, not be interrupting him at all. This is a no disqualification match. Either he's giving up or he's not. Now this does not make any sense to me, not whatsoever. Referee asking Nova if he wants to give up. That's a simple decision. It's either yes or no. For her to be protecting Nova now makes no sense to me at all. And now Nova taking advantage of that extra time and booting ERA once again. I believe it was in the shoulder once more. ERA in trouble, in desperate trouble as Nova continues to abuse that shoulder. I don't know if ERA has enough to get a victory in this match. And there, she, there you see again, Johnny Nova with that cord wrapped around the throat of ERA. ERA looks like he has his fingers in there blocking that choke, using that second rope for some momentum. Rolling through, and now it looks like he's reversed it. Now has that cord wrapped around the throat of Johnny Nova. ERA now wrapping it around. He's got it wrapped around really good. Looks like it went around two or three times. Nova could possibly pass out here. This could be the end. ERA has lots of momentum here and lots of leverage. Johnny Nova, I believe, has called it quits. The referee counting. I'm not understanding. Did she call for the bell or didn't she? She did call for the bell. The winner of the match, E-R-A. All right, wrestling fans, we'll be right back. More action from the Mid-Florida Event Center at Anniversary 19. 